Okay, today's tutorial is going to be about uh, the fly eye domes. Um, if I do a quick look on the internet, we'll show you what it looks like. This is, you'll have seen these before probably, uh, originally invented by and patented by Buckminster Fuller. It took like till 1983 to make some fiberglass models of it. Um, and there's a bit of interest in this and some, I had a client ask me could I re reproduce the fly's eye dome so I thought we'd take a look at it today. Okay, we'll start with uh, a polyhedron. This works for any kind of polyhedron at all. So this is a pentacus dodecahedron uh, because it's got one face type in the whole thing. The more face types you have, uh, the more complicated your fly eye components are going to be. You'll have, instead of having one, you'll have three or four. Okay, to start, we have to add some circles to the vertices of our polyhedron. Like I said, this will work for any kind of polyhedron, so I'm just using this in a, as an example. In our finished design, obviously we don't put anything inside the circles, that's where the windows go. So we're concentrating on the green bit. We want to make a single component between all of these windows to make the structure of the dome. So what we do is we extend one triangle face so that we've got a separation to work with and then we just model this little green component. So you can do it however you fancy, um, you can curve it, you can have it flat like the face but you've got to make this, um, we, we're cutting the corners from each circle and using just the pieces inside this triangle. Right, I've done that now. Uh, we'll remove the circles because I have them on a layer and we're left with this single component and all we do from this point is uh, copy paste around the dome. Let me just demonstrate. and each section joins onto the next one. And we'll just repeat this all the way around the dome. Right, uh, I've removed um, and hidden uh, five panels just so it's easy to get access. And I've also have the middle of the center rather of the polyhedron marked because what we need to do is we need to rotate about this half. And in SketchUp, you click and hold, drag to the center and this will rotate about this line, so it makes life easy. And that's our fly eye finished. Let's see if I can uh, get rid of that bit of shell. There we go. Let's clean that up for you a wee bit. And then we can, obviously, we can um, section this anywhere we want. You don't have to have circles either. You can um, put a ellipse circle, a polygon, uh, anything you like on a vertice, a edge or the center of a panel. What you're looking for is symmetry. So if there's a line of symmetry, uh, that always helps. But it, to be honest, uh, as a rule, I would probably just stick with the uh, leave and circles on the uh, vertices. This is all jolly fine, but uh, the whole purpose of these um, tutorials is to, is to build a, a finished structure. So if you were building a house, for example, you could employ some of, the, some of these basic techniques, but you have to make some... Um, allowances for doors, windows and the general house shaped structure. Now this one is what I'd call a very rough concept drawn of a house based on the fly eye dome. Uh, I've done circles and I've also done this big ten sided polygon hole. Uh, the base model for this was a deltoidal hexacontahedron if anybody's interested. Um, so what this design uh, proposes really is that you can have a five-sided door so it has a flat top and slightly slope, slope and sides but you can have two different models of this you could have a, a large dome 
uh, with and you can reduce the size of this uh, ten sided polygon and uh, you could have a smaller dome and increase that size so then you would end up with uh, two doors exactly the same size and you could fit a small dome to a big dome that's a real problem uh, in geometry when you're doing with domes and it seems like lots of people want a small dome connected to a bigger dome so it would be useful to solve that problem but obviously there's a few other considerations that we have to take into account this is basically a thickness of paper uh, you would have to uh, work on the structure and um, this has two unique panels that one there uh, and the the uh, one opposite it and the left and right handed so you would need two components on this you'd need a window component um, some door kind of a po um, components and there's the, there's the big opening which I've just done with um, a, like a geodesic framework so you'd have a, a one to go around there that's all the same and then one geodesic frame in the middle so you've got maybe five or six different components and a good deal of flexibility for doors, window positions, things like that. Uh, if you want me to make a more professional drone or put up draw plans or something for this, give us a shout in the comments. Uh, other than that, it's just an educational video. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.